Hey guys, it's Greg here from Playtech. Today we're going to be looking at a really common, but luckily really quick to fix problem that a lot of players have been having with Valorant recently. The problem is basically that Valorant uses a very hardcore anti-cheat system, which actually links into the secure boot system of your motherboard. So if your motherboard isn't configured correctly in the BIOS, then that can lead to you not being able to actually play the game. And it gives you a kind of sort of vague and scary looking error. Now certain motherboards might be configured correctly from the manufacturer or otherwise you may have set it uh, correctly by yourself in the past but maybe you've had some kind of uh, power interruption or other power surge event that has reset the BIOS settings on your motherboard and that's led to you not being able to load up the game anymore and in that case you may need to go back to the BIOS and set it again. So anyway, today we're going to look at how to jump into BIOS and change those secure boot settings and get the game up and running again. So first of all, is what we're gonna do is load up system info um, on the computer and we're gonna look for secure boot stay and we can see that it, it is off, oh no. Okay, so now we need to we can close that down and restart the computer. Before we restart the computer, we're gonna just keep in mind that we're gonna to need to press delete at the right time during boot in order to access the BIOS settings. Here we go. Okay, so now once you're actually in BIOS, where we're gonna go is we're gonna jump over to advanced mode, uh, pressing F2 or clicking the button, whatever. And then we're going to jump to settings, miscellaneous, scroll down and confirm that AMD CPU FTPM is enabled. If you've got an Intel uh, CPU, it may just be called TPM or something like that. We just wanna confirm that this is enabled first of all. That's step one. If you've got Windows 11 installed, it's probably already set up like that. Next, excuse me, we're heading down to boot and secure boot. We want to make sure, now see we can see secure boot is disabled. We wanna make sure this is enabled here. Now you may not be able to enable this you may be prevented it might pop up an error that says something like um you know uh user mode incorrect cannot in um change something like that um i'm not sure off the top of my head what the exact error message is but it'll basically say um secure boot on your screen around here it'll actually say secure boot enabled but inactive um, and so if you've got that issue then what you actually need to do is change your secure boot mode into custom and jump down to key management here and restore the factory keys um, and if you do that it will basically restore the, um, the, the key that should be loaded in there um, and then you want to set this back to uh, standard here um, and then we should be able to reset that let Windows load and just confirm that Secure Boot is enabled now. Here we go. Let's load up that software information again. MS Info, System Information, uh, Secure Boot State is on. We're good to go. So now when we load up Valorant, no more error. We should be able to jump straight in. All right, guys, that's all for today. Hopefully that gets you up and running in Valorant again. Um, if you've got any more suggestions of videos that we can do to fix little things like this, just let us know in the comments and we'll see if we can make them.